Lonnie Quinn with your first alert weather on CBS2. Gotcha. McHale Center in Tucson. Rivalry game. Huge consequences here for Arizona and Arizona State. Rich Waltz, Jim Spinarco, and Warren Washington for Arizona State misses a jumper. Sun Devils off to a quick start. Of course, Arizona number seven in the country. Arizona State, led by their head coach, Bobby Hurley, a bubble team right now trying to get into the NCAA tournament near the tail end of this season. Larson just caught a little elbow inadvertently to the face. We play on. It's Helen Larson off the bench. And he'll get to the free throw line. Starting lineups, it's senior day here, so for Tommy Lloyd at Arizona, bottom line, Matthew Lang and Jordan Main started this game. And you know what? They both contributed and made some nice plays. Arizona State is a terrific defensive team, and Arizona is a fabulous offensive team. And yeah, Maines came out and gave him a steal and a bucket, so a pretty good lift to start to get the fans involved. Here's what's at stake here in the Pac-12. Arizona trying to catch UCLA, trying to get the best seed in the NCAA tournament. Arizona State, if they finish fourth, they get a first round bye in the tournament. And obviously, if they win here or win at USC and UCLA, they help that bubble resume. That will be huge for them. And they started out pretty nicely here in terms of the attitude that they brought to the floor. Good approach offensively, get some clear shots. They've hit five of seven from the field, and that three by four is off. Nice look down the floor. Transition basketball. Right. Arizona's as good as any, and a hard foul with Pella Larson ending up on the floor. This is a great look down the floor, too, by Ramey finding Larson going to the basket. Pretty good hit. Looks like everything was aggressive and legal. Larson, who plays starter minutes, 28 minutes a game, is part of a, a productive but very thin bench. It's a seven-man rotation that Tommy Lloyd usually uses. Yeah, and, and his comment to us yesterday was when we talked about that was that a lot of teams start to reduce the number of players in their rotation, keep it around eight or so. Seven's a little thin, but Larson playing very well over the last five games or so with five games and... Ten or more points. Best stretch in his career. You saw the way he gets down the floor in a hurry also. Arizona State's bench is deeper, but not as productive as both Larson and Kylan Boswell who play for Arizona. And of course, Austin Nunez, who is one of their best on-ball defenders, is out yeah. for Arizona State. He's out with a uh, concussion. And that first game, 19 to 12, was the bench production in favor of Arizona State. Jemaya Neal, Alonzo Gaffney in the ballgame for the Sun Devils. This is Horn in the double. Oh, he's handling it way too much. Shot gotta clock is down. Got to get a shot up. And they do, and they score. That's Neal in tight. A little too much dribbling out on the perimeter, but he bailed himself out by tracking down that loose ball. Tony Ramey. This is Kirk Friesa, fine point guard. Nice double team there. Nice and hard going down low. And there's the rotation. They got to go a long way to find the shooter. Ramey, it's a three. The Arizona is so good at passing the basketball. See how quickly it went from the post to the left side of the floor. It just means you have a lot of room in real estate to cover if you're the guard who has to get out there on the shooter. As always, great crowd, incredible atmosphere here at McHale. Corner three, and that's short. DJ Horn. Nice to have a big bring the ball up to rebound it and trigger your offense. Pick nice and hands. roll. Good hands defensively. And numbers for Arizona State if they want them. They're not a team that really runs a whole lot. That was a good example of not running just then because you're right. They had numbers at least three on two. Devin Cambridge, who hit a three early in the game. Part of the, uh, the large group of transfers that have really bolstered Bobby Hurley's ball club. Presa, oh, how 
How did he fit that in to Tubelis? Well, Greece is just so good at passing the basketball in terms of finding people with his five and a half assists per game. But how about the catch and go? So he finds a seam here coming through off that curl cut at the front. But watch where this pass is. Boy, he gets it down around the knees. And Tabellis just quick enough to get those hands on it. And here's that tough one, just a layback. Got out fairly well in terms of the double team on the right side of the floor, kicking it out to the left. The Ramey shooting that ball very well, 42% on the season from the three-point strike. You see those assist numbers. Creesa leads the Pac-12 in assists. They get just under 20 assists per game, Arizona. Leader Mohammed in the game. And, and he's... Yeah, that's just too much activity there with the dribble for Arizona State. Curve, That's a three. Pretty much four turnovers. Can be really, really expensive going both ways, but that time in particular, just way too much dribbling for Arizona State out front. Five point lead, biggest for Arizona so far. Devin Cambridge, Mohammed, missed the three. Arizona State is not a good three-point shooting team. Henderson! And Arizona is. Yeah, and I think they just Arizona State has to be just a little careful on this possession right now. Just control the tempo on this one possession. Media timeout is coming soon, so you don't want to get this, let these fans get really into this game too much. Gaffney! That's a big, big shot. Only 21% on the, sh of the year shooting the ball, too, but straight on, very, very comfortable. Tubelis catch from Creesa. Well, Creesa just knows how to find them. That's not the easiest pass to throw from straight on at the basket to your big guy down low. It has to be just perfect. Bobby Hurley, a guy who knows a little bit about passing the basketball in his deep career. Shot clock at 10, Muhammad. Forcing the action again off the dribble. Now Neal, that's an ambitious three, and he hit it! Wow, and there was contact, but no whistle. And over the last two games, he's been struggling shooting the basketball a little bit, too, so good to see him get on track. Three of 11 in his last two from the field. Arizona's offense, so fluid, so beautiful. And when they get everybody involved, here's that little pull. CBS right now as Danny and UConn won just before us and of course uh, Bobby at Arizona State and the uh, the father a guy that I know that you played against and 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 respected and yeah. we're from the same neck of the woods uh, from my hometown of Jersey City New Jersey and Bobby Hurley senior with a fabulous career 28 state championships and four national championships and Bobby jr. Great career at Duke and Danny a solid career at Seton Hall. One point game. Nice give, and that's Duke Brennan down the lane with the right hand. One of the freshmen for Bobby Hurley. And Arizona State shooting the ball well, that's a key. They do not shoot it well on the season, just 42% on the season. Tubelis is blasted. There were three bodies on him. It's the final voyage of Jean-Luc Picard and his OG crew. Patrick Stewart stars in the triumphant final season of Star Trek. Picard now streaming exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Rich, the first time these two teams played, I know you love stats, right? Three-point shooting. Combined, they were 8 for 49. They're combined right now. I know it's early and a lot of different things can happen. 50% from the three. So a drastic difference in terms of the first game to this game in terms of the three ball. Azulis Tubelis is trying to do something that few players have done in Pac-12 history. And those that have, there are just some legendary names there. They sure are. Look at the two on the top. Lou Alcindor, Kareem Abdul-Jabara now, and Bill Walton. Always good to have an AC Green sighting. Yeah, AC Green, Oregon State. It's one point game. Arizona State with the ball. Glad you're with us. Whoa! Can't That's do it. that. Yep. Can't do that. You're More than moving. solid screen there by Alonzo Gaffney. He was moving. Yeah, trying to get his positioning outside and 
And let's take a look at the right arm. Kind of holding it in there and moving at the same time. Not much, but you have to be stationary. Gaffney is the first big off the bench. He's back on the bench. And I say that, Rich, as if it didn't really hurt Larson just then, but uh, it's easy to sit here and see a guy take a, a hit. They're looking for that high-low action. Ball movement is really impressive for Arizona. Everybody can pass. Everyone's looking to pass. Larson. You know, and their pace is so good when it comes to how fast they play in terms of the offense. 13th fastest. They make some mistakes here and there, but Tommy Lloyd will tell you it's about the percentage of the turnovers that he's more concerned with. Desmond Cambridge Jr., the transfer from Nevada, and Desmond with a bucket, 24 piece. Again. Pillar Larson is not a guy you want to leave that wide open. No, and that was almost like shooting practice just then. Although his number is only at 30%. If you give any guy who has form like that the open opportunity to shoot a wide open jumper, they're going to be much better than their percentage would indicate. Nice crossover. Collins floater, and he was fouled. And so they, they really pass the basketball, average just under 20 assists. And because of that, they generally get some good open looks. And here's one when it goes to the post, you just make a mistake. Cambridge turns the wrong way. He doesn't know whether he's going to go to the post or not. Indecision cost him three. And if the offense looks familiar, it should. Tommy Lloyd, of course, longtime assistant to Mark Few at Gonzaga. It's a very similar type concept. It's a fun offense for players. It's a fun offense for fans. Well, one of the key things, too, with the offense, it's fun when everybody buys into it and you're willing to pass the basketball. There's no other better way to play basketball than the way they play it in terms of passing. Offensive uh, foul, Larson yeah. with that left arm. Left extension. They're trying to be aggressive going to the basket, going to his strong side. I think that occurred before the shot out, a little bit before that, about the eight-foot range. Not much of one, though. Ballo and Larson. Actually, Ballo out. Larson went to the bench and is staying in. Yeah, Alan Boswell in for Arizona, along with Prisa in the backcourt. Yeah, Arizona will, will go to a four-man lineup like this, smaller lineup. That's a nice shot. Desmond Cambridge Jr., a very creative scorer. Yeah, I go back to what Bobby Hurley said. If they can get him going, that's a good sign. For a tough one falling out. Offensive rebound, Boswell. There's I say a much improved defensive team this year. Well, they take, they're aggressive, they take chances. And sometimes those pan chances, just like that, they'll have to pay on it because they, Cambridge tried to come out. He was way late and couldn't slow himself down, and they go right by it for a deuce. Cedric Henderson has seven now for Arizona, and an answer from D.J. Horn. Horn and Cambridge Jr. Those are the two guys that Bobby Hurley focused on. Look at Tubelis down the lane. And you notice where he's running again, Rich, too. Right down the middle of the floor to try to get there. It's the quickest way to get to the front of the rim. Pretty good effort overall. we got a good start here. To get within two, but then ran out of gas at the end. You can see that it's just 31% on the season. That's very that's low in NCAA standards. And here is Tubelis. And the good news for Arizona, no foul trouble for him right now. Last three games, he's averaged just 18 minutes. Nine points and four rebounds a game. And this is a guy who's a player of the year candidate, not only in the conference, but also nationally. Yeah, and there's nothing worse than that. The coach won't take you out. The fouls will take you out. That's what's done. happened to him two of the last three games. Nice flare cut here. Good one dribble. DJ Horn with a jumper. Well executed off the top. Little spray cut there on the right side of the floor. Nothing wrong with the mid-range jumper. A couple of bigs on each side have two personal fouls. Warren Washington on the bench for Arizona State. Umar Balo with two on the bench for Arizona. This is Tupelis gliding through the lane. The question with those fouls today really put them back into the game. Neal 
and it won't go. That's a good-looking shot, though. That's what he'll do. He'll pull up. Terrific game tonight at 10 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. Number 22, San Diego State, looking for a sixth consecutive win against a very good New Mexico team. The Pit in Albuquerque is one of the great venues in the West, along with McHale, maybe Viejas for uh, San Diego State. A new look defensively here from Bobby Hurley's squad. Little 1-2-2 one, two, two actions, trying to slow them down. Uh, and a lob for Henry Vesar. That's going Arizona State's way. Number pretty good. You expect Arizona to shoot the basketball well every single time. They're averaging that number there, 49%. Although with their numbers at 11 of 18. Arizona have been shooting hot. They were seven of their last eight, but a miss there. They saw one of the bigs off the bench, and he's a freshman. Creesa, ball was blocked. He wanted a foul. Yeah, Horn was right there on his right side. Collins, high degree of difficulty. Yeah, he played well in the first game also, Collins did. Scoring 12 points, shooting 6 of 12 from the floor, trying to get active offensively. Larson back in the game for Arizona. He leads him with eight points. And Larson stripped to the ball, out ahead. Gaffney, one of the best defenses at turning you over in the Pac-12 is doing it today. You can see why. They take some risks, but they're, a lot of them are calculated risks. And when you think you go by somebody, you're not by them. They're pretty good in terms of flicking the basketball and making some action out of it. Nice walk. No, they're fine by Kreisa. Uh, you're fine with Kreisa. All you need to keep doing is think, move, move, move. He will find you with the basketball. A terrific look down below. Henderson with that bucket now has nine points. Teresa has four assists and no turnovers. Over the double. And that's Devin Cambridge, who is a guy that does a little bit of everything for this team. And they want him in double figures because, for whatever reason, they're undefeated when he gets over 10 a game. Henderson with the miss, hung on the rim. Great move there. Horn to the bucket. And it doesn't go. They saw. Yeah, Horn lost the, the ball just a split second before he shot, it, shot the ball because it had some spin on it that was really not natural. Ramey off the screen. Step back three. Missed it. Henderson tries it loose. Creesa, layup. You know, a lot of times you'll get a three-point shot off our offensive rebound, though, but if you're smart enough to put the ball on the floor and you have a lot of traffic on your side, it's a good time to go to the bucket. Timeout on the floor. This is fun. Back and forth they go. Yeah, we've seen Arizona use the backdoor cutter a few times already. Ball still in his hand. That's a good block. All hand. Bobby Hurley stressed to us in practice yesterday. Got to get off to a good start. Got to shoot the ball well. Can't afford to fall down by 17 like they did in the first meeting. Yeah, I think if you ask Bobby right now, he'd be happy, except maybe the points are getting a little too high in terms of where we are right now. Ramey with the foul. Let's take a look back to... See if we can find. That's Jemiah Neal. I don't know if he caught something around the nose. Follow back on the floor too, with two fouls. Right. Horn gets a screen and missed the jumper. TV's top new series, Fire Country. It's the show that critics call explosive and pure entertainment. Don't miss a new episode of Fire Country. Friday, 9, 8 Central on CBS. I like the way Arizona State is using the pull-up jumper from 15, 17 feet when they need it, rather than just settling on long threes. Somewhat of a lost art. Yep. Cedric Henderson with the left hand. Yeah, you notice what Arizona's doing. They, they started shooting the ball well from the outside, 5 of 11 right now from 3, but they're testing the water underneath, especially without a shot blocker in there. Now Washington on the floor. 
Muhammad has been in a shooting slump. And of course, he buries an 18 foot. Yeah, somebody behind us called out for a double dribble. He, they may be correct behind us in terms of one that put that ball on the floor quickly. And it was not the governor. No, although she's here. Katie Hobbs is here today. To Bellis. There's that double team again, and he's very good at passing out of it. Boswell and Brennan may have gotten him. Well, a shooting slump. What's the cure for that, Jim Spinarco? Well, some would say to keep shooting, but you know, I, I think keep shooting good shots. He's can... Yep, the team was fabulous, and his calls were always fabulous. There's so much history in this building. There's so much great history. The, the Lute Olsen run, the many NBA players that are there, and Tommy Lloyd has taken this job and has absolutely sprinted with it. To a record of 57 and 8 in his almost two years now. 32 and 1 in the last two years here, so this is not an easy place to run and try to beat us here. Yeah. Arizona State has lost 10 of their last 11 here. And a little zone look now. First time for Arizona. Man open. And Collins is a pass first point guard goal. We're recognizing the perimeter pretty strongly right now. Hey, Muhammad, why not? And that one, after hitting the 18-footer, was a 22-footer and it was off. Follow back in with two fouls. And a foul inside, away from the ball. One-on-one. On one. Devin Cambridge with the foul. First to 50, the second best in NCAA history. And the fastest to 50 wins in Pac-12 history. He's only won 88% of his games here at Arizona, so... Pretty good numbers. He is. And the guy at the line is, uh, you know, part of that, even though he didn't recruit him. He is known as the very best international recruiter. He supplied Gonzaga with just an incredible pipeline of NBA talent. And guys like Tubelis and Creesa, when Tommy Lloyd took the job, even though they were here, he had to re-recruit those guys. Creesa actually entered the transfer portal. And, and once they got into summer workouts and they realized that that offense that he brought with them from Gonzaga had a great European flavor to it, yep. they were all in. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun style. There's no question about it. And watching them practice yesterday, it just seems that they really enjoy it. And, they, and he's get, he gets them to pass the ball, so they're all buying in. Washington's back in, and that's a nice little hook for a bucket. He's playing with two fouls. He's averaging 9.7 rebounds and is a good rim protector. Yeah, don't be surprised if they try to challenge him with a little high-low slip to the basket. Creason draws a foul. A reminder coming up, at and at the half. Greg, Clark, Seth will break down the first half. Bring the highlights from around the country. And Clark worked the first game. I think he jumped in the subway and headed to the studio. <laughs> And here you go with that little jump hook. And that's when you know there's a guy behind you who's really not going to block a shot. And if you just position yourself before the catch, it makes things a whole lot easier. Creesa, it's not been a great first half from the line for Arizona, 7 of 14. Yeah, he's an 80% shooter, too, from the line. Arizona State's going to call a timeout. We will. Likewise, number seven, Arizona at home. A one point lead in a rivalry game against Arizona. The Sun Devils have come to Tucson and gone nose to nose with the number seven Wildcats. Mikhail, and this place is one of the special places in all of college basketball. Yeah, Bobby Hurley using that timeout also to get Washington with two fouls off the floor, an offensive set. Desmond Cambridge. That's a hard-earned rebound there by Devin Cambridge. A kick out and a three. And Jemiah Neal, who has also struggled from distance, bangs home a three. Arizona State on top. Watch the activity passing the basketball. There you go. Nice defensive effort by two players. I think it was Devin Cambridge that will get credited for the block. 
Maybe Des a little rush just then. Yeah, Desmond Cambridge, more of a scorer than his brother. Yep, I know he can score and make that shot maybe a little too quick. Nice hands again going the other way. Neal. Arizona State stretches the lead and a minute left and Mikhail was quiet and the crowd trying to get back into this game and a high scoring game for them too because they average 71 points per game back cut Larson man has he had a good first half he's got 10 and we've seen at least five rich five backdoor cuts where they've gone to the basket like that and I believe three of them have been from the right base side they baseline side Arizona State needs to get a good shot right now to keep themselves in a good mental position. Desmond Cambridge off the glass. There's that pull up when he's not contested. A whole lot better than his previous shot. And if the Sun Devils get a stop right now, Bobby Hurley Jr. will walk in with a uplifted team. Sun so Devils shooting it. Desmond Cambridge Jr. Now... They need wins, and they need wins against significant teams. They've got that in front of them, not only today, but the rest of their schedule and into the Pac-12 tournament. You always like to have the opportunities in front of you, and he showed up with a, a, a suit jacket on and took it off very quickly. <laughs> yeah, they travel to UCLA and USC to finish the regular season, and then to Las Vegas for the Pac-12 tournament. Five seconds. they got to go in a hurry right here. Creesa whips it across. Henderson rises. Got it! Rich, the good teams are willing to keep the ball in my hands a little longer, but you're right. But this guy knows how to pass the basketball in his career at Duke. That's what Bobby Hurley said yesterday in our, our meeting. He, he, he mentioned that you weren't, weren't a guy that liked to pass a lot. Well, well I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> First possession, Ramey. Oh, wow. His second three. And just like that, Arizona pops on top by two. And it looks like every fan in this building is standing up and he steps out of bounds. So you priest is just gonna find you. That's the easy one right there. Just Ramey right out in front, letting it rip. Great three-point shooter at 42%. On their feet at the McHale Center. Crowd has been loud, and but there have been times when Arizona State has Shut the crowd down. That's not easy to do. Wouldn't be surprised to look for some backdoor cuts also early on here. Risa trying to clear some space. And they're looking to go to the post. Only playing with two fouls right now. Both Follow those guys. Him. Yep. Skip pass. Another three. Ramey. Generally, you'll see fans sit down after a point is scored, but these fans are just staying with it. Washington. Desmond Cambridge. And Bolo knocked it into the corner. Fresh possession. Washington spins into traffic. Now four guys surrounding him there. Horn. Yes. Gets the three. What a good decision by Washington just then. First three guys were surrounding him. A fourth was leaning his body towards him and a kick out to get a good open shot. Creesa. That was a rhythm shot for him, too. Good tip by Balo. That's Collins who slips. So you get in a little trouble, you want to kick it out. There's that extra pass. Good work. Big guy kicking it to the little guy, Collins. Just ring it around, and here's the big out of the post for another wide-open jumper. Ramey's hit a pair of threes to open up this half for Arizona. Remember, they defend the perimeter very well, too, so they'll make that adjustment on the fly. Paolo spins, scores, free throw coming. Paolo gave the... The intent to pass out of the post just then, and I think Washington, Washington was baited. Watch when he looks to the, out to the wing. He's looking for that diagonal pass. Washington kind of leans towards the middle of the floor. What a perfect drop step there 
You could really see in that last replay the way number 22, Washington, was just leaning and leaning towards the middle of the floor. Nice sense there for the body action. Follow has been playing with a sore thumb on that right hand. Washington has to be careful with those three fouls next trip down the floor. I'm sure they'll look to feature Balo down in the post again. The lead is four. Arizona's biggest lead today, five. Devin Cambridge. Oh, that's nice work there. That's Desmond Cambridge. Yeah, I'm getting away with the two because they shoot the ball from long range early in the shot clock, but the offensive glass pretty good. Good pressure out front. This is Arizona State type style right here. And it's Collins with a steal. And Ramey and that. Collins gets the foul and Bobby Hurley. He's not gonna like that call, Rich, and I'll tell you why, because he thought his guy had the ball. But watch what happens when he gets the steal. He loses it, and then he kind of almost bear hugs Ramey from behind, and that's what the official caught. It happened right in front of Bobby. He doesn't like it, but I think it's the correct call. Ramey, oh, he's going long range, and he comes up short. Fresh possession, Henderson. All the Arizona State players went towards the middle of the floor in the basket that trip. Henderson, long route to the bucket, Tubelis, offensive foul. And I think it's Tubelis with a yep. push. Survivor is back this Wednesday with the most challenging emotional thrill ride of a premiere ever. We dare you to watch the new season of Survivor. And CBS is streaming on Paramount Plus. And both of these coaches are working the officials right now. Tommy Lloyd at his end there. That foul on Collins, by the way, his third person. He played so well in that first game, too. Baseline drive, Devin Cambridge. Wow. And that's a foul. That's a drive, though. Watch this drive. It goes by his man initially, and now the power starts to go towards the rim. He's ready to challenge two players. Well done. That right, came. You know, the getting to Arizona State for the Cambridge brothers was a, just a fascinating story. Devin was the first to come. He wanted to, to transfer in the portal, came from Auburn. His brother was playing at Nevada with Warren Washington, Desmond was. And in the summer, Devin would actually go to Reno and they played summer ball and play pickup. Desmond realized he had only one more year left. You see Washington, who was his roommate, he wanted to play with his brother, so he transferred in, and then Washington was like, well, what about me? Exactly. And they said, well, why don't you come with us? And so all three of the guys that were playing summer ball in Reno ended up here at Arizona State. Great story. That last foul was on Umar Balo. He's oh. got three, and that's a foul a long way from the bucket. Devin Cambridge. Yes. A little too risky out front, too. You can see he's way out on the floor. You know, he doesn't have an angle to beat the pass. He knows that, and boom, it's just body on body. And you know what? The Cambridge family's got three other players, two sisters that played at a high level, Vanderbilt in Kentucky, and one is one of the top prospects in high school right now. That's a pretty good family. And their dad was a terrific player himself in college. Tubelis misses Washington the rebound. Yeah, Washington with the three fouls right now, just staying back just a little bit. And they're going after him. Well defended. Watch the lob. Horn to Washington with one hand. Good read there, too. Out front by Horn. You have to make sure you delay just a little bit as a point guard so your big can get settled underneath. Larson had a great first half. Shot blocked. Great hands by Collins just then. Devin Cambridge, offensive foul. Yeah. That's his third. He tried to put the brakes on just then, but he did it with his arms. Here's the delay. Watch him slow down just a fraction and delivers it right on the... Bobby Hurley. So, you know, I think one thing that Bobby believes, that, you know, compared to... Tommy Lloyd's team is Bobby feels that his team has depth and maybe he can wear people out 
We thought that about the first game that they played. Let's see if it, the depth plays into this game with just under 16 minutes to go. Henderson in the lane. Still time on the clock. A little pressure on the perimeter, though. Ramey. Good shot fake by Larson. And Ramey's wide open for a three. And he buries another. Well, that's because of the mistake on the left side there. Sun Devil left his feet. And it allowed the ball to be pushed to the middle of the floor. You get a collapse defensively. And the fans get back into it. DJ Horn is having a great game. 12.6 assists. Jemiah Neal's back in. He had 10 off the bench for Arizona State. This is Neal. Starts to go. Falling away and hits 18 feet. Had a terrific first half, four or five. He didn't score in the first game that they played one another. So it's a big time lift for Neal for Arizona State. Sun Devils back on top. Good screen out front. Good recovery defensively. To Bellis. Remember Washington not on the floor, and that rolls around and out. Arizona has earned more free throws than Arizona State. Watch for the hand at the last minute here. He makes the turn, gets into his shot. It's going to be about waist high. He turns, he shoots, and there's the foul right across that right arm. Cabellis, who leads the Pac-12 in double-doubles. And also leads the Pac-12 in transition points. How many bigs are at the top of that category? You don't see it, but with a team that passes as well, as I touched on before, as this Arizona team does, kind of makes sense to keep running, doesn't it? In fact, Bobby Hurley talked about how to simulate that in practice, the break by Arizona. And so he let his bigs on the scout team start from the top of the key going the other way right. just to to simulate how quickly Arizona gets down the floor. Gaffney with that foul, it's his third personal. Every time these fans get into it, it's such a big offensive possession for Arizona State not to turn the ball over. Horn gets a screen, in trouble in the corner, and throws it away. The type of play you don't want on the road, dribbling into the corner. That's no man's land and just not a good fill right there, but a careless pass. Shake it off. Yeah, this has been a tight game throughout. Arizona State, biggest lead four. Arizona, biggest lead five. Nice cut to the basket. Ooh, there's a foul on a reach. DJ Horn thought he had drawn an offensive foul there was no whistle yeah i was i was thinking that that was close to a flop was there enough contact right here i don't think so and then he comes off the floor and he reaches the same way so it's a, it's a double problem for horn just then defensively he goes down the reason i say that too is henderson was about, his first move was towards like the half court the free throw line he wasn't going shoulder into chest so i thought that was a good no call no calls have been scarce this year, and and look, it's a really difficult call to officiate. And the rules committee is made up of coaches. They're the ones that tell the officials, this is how we want it officiated. It seems like it's either a charge or a flop, but no call is a, a little rare this year. Yeah, and I, I think it happens so fast now, and these guys are so quick, and they understand what they're trying to do, just not these guys playing right here. I mean, in college basketball across the board, it's gotten better and better. If you're doing your homework and scouting reports, you should, reports, you should be able to pick up some of those post-up moves also. Collins. Gaffney's miss. Ramey whips it. Larson three. Got it! That's a high ball drag screen just then. Getting a big involved, but they skip a pass. This feels like a tipping point right now. Arizona on a run. Pella Larson a three. 
And, but one guy does. Friesen will find the cutter each and every time. And here's the extra pass. That's a nice little play away from the weak side. And just a set shot to put it through. Out of the timeout, Arizona State hunting for a bucket. Desmond Cambridge misses the three. Gaffney has the rebound. Where do you go for points? Well, you look at it, I think they went to the right guy just then in terms of trying to get a look. Oh, that's, that's a, a tough drive there. Oh, Gaffney cleans it up. <laughs> drive to the basket. This is a team that doesn't shoot the ball, Arizona State, real well from the three-point stripe. As we touched on, only 31%. You would think they'd go to the basket a little more. Crease up. That's a three. He just understands when to shoot and not when to shoot. His guy got tangled up on the screen. Collins again just kind of flicks it up. Good Two guy pushing. Creasa looking cross court. Larson on the way. Missed the three. And Brennan has the rebound. Yeah, he almost aimed that one a little bit. Instead of just shooting it. Big set here for Arizona State. Here's the guy they want to get after. Desmond Cambridge Jr. crossing yeah. over and Larson with the reach. Picks up the foul. Part of the guard play is watching your defender. You see he goes by the screen. That's the time to shoot. Especially when you can put it back from 38% on the percent. Good read. Good passer. Good read out front. That trip for a shot. Teresa out of Estonia. In a country that's produced just one NBA player. He might be the second. Washington, they dare him to shoot, and he does. A little longer than a free throw for him. Hesitated just for a split second, but he realized the defender wasn't coming to get him. A little isol isolation right here. Tubelis in tight. Boy, does he look at drop step. They're two bigs. Get your man leading to the middle. We saw that in the first half with, with Paulo. The six-point lead is the biggest of the day for Arizona. Still a real good pace to this game. Little drop step of his own. Oh, Washington. <laughs> He'll match that drop step. He's into double figures now with ten points, though just one rebound. Tubelis has position, has another bucket. Yeah, I think Washington is playing like he has three fouls because he does. So those last two right there may be a little tentative because he doesn't want to pick that fourth one up, especially with this much time left on the clock. Yeah, he, that wasn't that wasn't worth the foul right there out front. Tubelis with a reach, his second. Guy who's had foul troubles. But watch his get you going towards the middle. Another lean by Washington to the middle of the floor just then. And the Wildcats are number seven in the country, number 11 in the Nets. And they've got a showdown coming with both USC and UCLA in particular on the road to finish their regular season. You see the foul trouble, three yep. Sun Devils in trouble. And maybe you get Neil involved here, Arizona State. He had a very, playing very, very well. Actually, four Sun Devils with that last foul. DJ Horn spinning around. And that's a big possession to turn it over to coming out of there for a break. Kylan Boswell, one of the few Wildcats to come off the bench. Ramey. Pretty good balance, though, here by Arizona getting back. Still like to see Neal touch the ball. Got it! Alonzo Gaffney with his second three. He was 9 of 44 coming into the ball. Yeah, game. statistically it's a, it's a bad number, but it's a good looking shot. <laughs> yes. Should be much better, you would think. Follow kicks. This is a guy who can get active, Boswell. And he's short. Good rebound there, but Jemiah Neal. Arizona's a very good rebounding team. And Arizona State right now is dead even with him. Collins waits for a screen. Washington rolls. Little floater, and it rims out. 
Yeah, there was that delay, and that was a good delay just then. All right, a big pick it up, a foul, Gaffney in the backcourt. I don't think they're going to call intentional, but it's... Well, he's going for the ball for a little while, then afterwards. I think the call was first on the first hit. <laughs> the first hit is the one that counts. Yeah. <laughs> That's four on Gaffney. Yeah, I think he's got to understand that situation. His teammates were back in fairly good defensive transition position. And he needs his size on the floor. He's played well, 10 points. Yeah. Especially after hitting a three like that. You know, you, sometimes the energy level just gets a little out of control. CBS Wednesday, they're living their best lives. Based on the blockbuster film by James Cameron. Don't miss the action-packed premiere of True Lies, Wednesday, 10, 9 Central, after Survivor, on CBS. I think that was Captain and Tennille making a cameo <laughs> appearance. <laughs> well, fans know the importance of this defensive stop right now. DJ Horn, around the Washington screen. Shot, no, tip. Larson has it. Creason wanted the ball and wanted to push it a little more. Yeah, but I think Larson recognized how important this possession is for Arizona to get this lead stretched a bit. Creasa stretches the three. Oh, that's over the top. And it's Ballo, and that's his fourth foul. <laughs> Sometimes you got to think whether you can get to the ball or not. He's boxed out right there. He has no chance of really getting that ball because it's a tall person in front of him at seven feet. So what are the chances of him getting that basketball? Slim to none, but he picks up his fourth. So Gaffney for Arizona State has four. Balo for Arizona has four. No other Wildcat has three. This is great intensity with this basketball game from the minute we started. Devin Cambridge finds his brother, misses the three. Uh, nice handle out front there. By Boswell. Bob. And Tubelis over the back. His third. The dribbling and the ball handling out front. Watch this. Goes behind his back with a purpose, not to showboat. And then gets a pull-up jumper. And unfortunately, same thing could be said about Tabellis going over the top. 17 fouls on Arizona State, six now on Arizona. Desmond Cambridge to Washington, and he's fouled. They could barely hear the whistle. That's a nice find. Yeah, just a little delay, too. Watch across. They come out high on that to the three point line and take your pick from either side. Both guys reach in, and I think both guys hit him, actually. The Washington gets to the line. The free throw disparity is Arizona State three of four for the line in this game, and Arizona is 12 of 21, and the Wildcats are normally a good free throw shooting team. Washington misses that three-point game. Transition bucket and the foul. He can get down the floor as fast as your guards. Especially off the play off the free throw line, too. He gets down there in a hurry, and you trail him. It's too, too late. A little bit of a shove there at the end of this play, if you notice. And that fouls on Washington. That's his fourth. Washington with 12 points on the bench now for Arizona State. And Richard, right about the free throw discrepancy. If we go back to the first game these two teams played, 
24 for 28 for Arizona, only 7 for 10 for Arizona State in that game. They got to get something healthy going towards the basket here. Neal, not a great shot. Well, shot selection is really costing him right now in the last two minutes. Ramey, good luck. Crease in the corner. Ball fake. And ball's loose. Ramey has it. Play on. Three is off. Another wild set right there for Arizona. Crease got caught. Desmond Cambridge misses the three. That would have been a big shot. And now with their half court sets, Arizona will settle in even though they like a little quicker pace. This is where their passing is just exquisite in terms of getting everybody involved. Ramey driving. Ramey scoring. Pretty job using the left hand just then. The quickest way to get that shot up is to use the inside hand, even though you're coming from the right. Cambridge sets Desmond on the miss. Ball's out of bounds. Or is that a foul? It's out of bounds, and it's an Arizona State ball. And a timeout. Big rivalry. High stakes. Arizona State wants to get off the bubble and finish in fourth in the Pac-12 and gets them a first round bye in Las Vegas at the Pac-12 tournament. And of course, UCLA tomorrow at Colorado. On CBS. And the baseline out of bounds now. And it's been quiet down this end offensively. Both teams still shooting over 50%. Shot clock running down. Frankie Collins out of control. Lost the ball. And a foul on Collins. His fourth. So you work this shot clock down because defensively, Arizona's in two. Good step across just then, too, by Henderson to make that happen. And Collins with some frustration reaching in. And the free throws continue. Cedric Henderson Jr. Who had a great career at Campbell before transferring in. His dad had an NBA career with the Cavs and the Warriors. Free throw is good. Coming up next on CBS, final game of today's College Hoops Triple Header Rupp Arena. SEC, Auburn, and Kentucky come up here on CBS. Kevin Harlan, Dan Bonner standing by. Henderson hits them both. And now the lead is extended to 10. And 12 times this year, he's gone into double figures. And this crowd, which has risen many times, back up on their feet. That's a foul and a bucket. Devin Cambridge cutting and scoring. So you watch the strong cut to the basket. It goes away from a backdoor cut. And it's a powerful drive, and he gets bumped by Henderson before he even gets into the shot, but he's in the air for the continuation. This guy is a, a glue guy who averages 10 a game. He does a lot of everything. to wait this long on the road to shoot the ball. Gives the crowd too much time to get involved on one free throw. Get it, three bounces and shoot it. Back to eight is the lead. We see that free throw attempts weighted heavily towards number seven, Arizona. Henderson in the lane, falling away. Nice tip out there, too, by Cambridge. There's nobody hard to help him. And to Bellis, not a good pass. Stolen there. This is Neal in the traffic. Neal missed the layup. Oh, terrific job, too, by Neal. He's had a very good game. Love the fact that he took it right down the middle, even though there was a little congestion, but not much. Ramey. That was a knuckleball that probably was Might have been deflected, I think, yeah. DJ Horn, and finally he gets a floater to yeah, drop. As long as they can get the floater to drop like that, Rich, that's what they should do. They should kind of use that ball fake out front to get something in the 15-foot range. Timeout in Arizona. Tommy Lloyd wants to talk it over. 
78-72, DJ Horn in Arizona State, not going away yet. 1995, the last win against a ranked Arizona team for Bob Hurley's Sun Devils. They won here just once, 2019. And I think that free throw description, discrepancy that we've talked about, where there's a bump out front, there's going to be more. He's freezing to the line. He's an 80% free throw shooter. It's just a style of play. They're patient with passing the basketball, and Arizona State likes to take some gambles, and they know they have to take a few here with five and change left. Not many. Uh, you saw the jersey of Steve Kerr. Kerr Kreese's father, a pro player in Estonia, and, of course, his favorite player was Steve Kerr. So the first name and the number are no coincidence. The funny thing was he wasn't aware, Kerr Kreese wasn't aware, that Steve Kerr played here. He was aware that he was a Chicago Bull and a Santa Cruz Spur and all of that. Not a bad coach. No. <laughs> Eight. See with Arizona coming out to the perimeter. Desmond Cambridge Jr. bangs home a three. Confident shooter, but mix it up a little bit. Now they go to their 2-2-1. Two, two, Looking for a trap. Ooh, a kick ball before a hand. Foul trouble is an issue right now for Arizona State. So here's that little delay. He comes out. And if you don't come right up on him, he has that trigger and lets it rip. Risa probing and a rare mistake. Ball knocked out of his hands. Oh, they were looking for a lob just then to Cambridge. Horn! And he missed the transition three. Tubelis has the rebound. Well, that ball had a shot on That spin on it almost like a right-handed pitcher in baseball throwing a curveball. Just did not have good rotation when it hit that rim. It's just not going in. Unless you put it right smack in the middle. The big guy back on the floor. Both big guys with four fouls. Ballo in Washington. Tubelis back to Ballo. Tubelis on the floor. Yeah, both got teams had a chance. There you go with a loose ball. I thought somebody would hit the floor for that one. Neal with his fifth rebound. Horn going hard. Draws contact. Ramey foul and some rare free throws for Arizona State. Well, people aren't going to like this call in this building, but if you get a defender out of position and you challenge him, the beautiful drop step and finish down low and both sides of the floor. To Bellis, very, very active. One of the metrics a lot of coaches like in the game these days is assist percentage. Yeah. And both these teams have been really good at that. First free throw is no good. For DJ Horn, Arizona has 16 assists on 26 buckets. Arizona State, 18 assists on 32 buckets. So one of two. And Arizona's lead is down to four. Full like, court pressure. Yeah, I like the call by Bobby Hurley coming out with a little bit of a trap action. Oh, almost a bump. And almost didn't get over in yeah, time. Second to spare. I think I'd keep that on for the next couple of session, uh, possessions. So Ramey trying to enter. He does the ball. Oh, he's fouled and goes down. And if it's Washington, it's his fifth. So you want to take some time off the clock and press us full court. So we'll come down if you're Arizona and we'll play in the half court set and make things happen. And a good, strong take to the basket. Devin Cambridge gets the foul. It's his fourth. And here's Balo, who gets two. Fifty-eight percent free throw shooter. If you're Arizona State, be ready to rebound. Four Sun Devils now with four fouls. Washington, Devin Cambridge. Point guard Frankie Collins and Alonzo Gaffney. Bellis to the bench. 
Somebody jump. Maybe give him a quick minute or so and get him back on the floor with two and a half. Well, I don't know. It's pretty close, but you know he has a, he hesitates before he releases the ball. Watch when he shoots it. Right there is a tiny bit of a hesitation, but they pick up a point on it. That may turn out to be a rather yeah, large point. I'd say so also. Plenty of basketball to go here. Let's see what kind of decisions Arizona State makes in their half-court sets. DJ Horn. Good defense by Ramey. Neal's been active this game. Neal in traffic forced it. Washington got his hands on it. Muscles it up and gets two free throws. Neal got himself into trouble just then and realized the only thing I can do as a teammate here is force the shot up and hopefully I get it towards the basket. In a pretty good spot. That ball came down at because I don't think that was a pass. I think that was a missed shot. Henderson, his second for Arizona. Arizona State has not been able to get to the line much, and they haven't shot it well when they've been there. They're four of eight. Now, Tabellis is up off the bench, too, so we just got a one minute break. Back he comes for the last 315. But their two bigs are on the floor right now. Five Wildcats in double figures. Tubella 17 points, eight rebounds. He's on his way to another double double. He leads the Pac 12 in that with 11. And Washington knocks home two enormous free throws for Arizona State. So they look come back into their man to man and they'll look to take some risks here and there. They don't have to be too crazy defensively, though. But this is how they play it. Krisa. Washington the rebound. Oh, better job there by Cambridge Jr. reacting to Krisa's long shot and went behind the screen but got out pretty quickly. This is Horn. Big screen from Washington. Neal corner. Missed it. And the rebound to Bellis, taken away by Devin Cambridge. Desmond Cambridge with a three. What a sequence for Arizona State. I think Arizona State wanted a travel violation initially there with Tabellis coming down with it, but I don't think he had possession. They played on and they get three out of it. One point game. Tommy Lloyd wants a timeout. He wants his team to calm down. It was a 10 point lead. It's down this does he get down to the floor with possession he may have had possession no call right there but it's an open wide open three into the double bonus and again as an unranked team coming here to tucson 0 and 29 and they've lost 10 of their last 11 in this building and the possession arrow in arizona state's favor and then it gets he doesn't get spoken about. Nice cut back. Back there. cut, Larson. Foul, no buckets. So that looked like the first half and the first three minutes of this game. The way Larson went back door, just a little bit of a hesitation. Watch on your right. Bring it left. Come back. And they caught Cambridge leaning as I touched on a little bit with the defensive effort. They're trying to go for some selective steals and play it a little risky. There's some contact at the rim. It saved the dunk, but it cost Devin Cambridge the rest of this game. That's his fifth foul. Plus, it puts an 86% free throw shooter on the line. Hello, Larson, the sixth man of the year last year in the Pac-12. Tommy Lloyd gave him a promotion to the starting lineup, but they just have felt that he he brings much better energy and production off the bench. Yeah, some guys are built for it. And he is kind of just lulls you to sleep a lot of times in those backdoor cuts. He's not in a hurry to get to them, especially when they know that's in the set of their offense. So the fans have been consistent across the way from us. They haven't they haven't hit their seats in a long time. Maybe a touch on the nervous side right now. Two-point game, two minutes left. Timeout. 
Arizona State. Number seven, Arizona, their rival, Arizona State, and a two point Wildcat lead. Did you know one of me? First game, Bobby Hurley at Arizona State facing a, just a great Arizona team. Tommy Lloyd's team, seven in the country, 11 in the net. And, and this is like an end of game possession here, like with one possession left. This is a big call for, for Bobby Hurley's team. Do they get Cambridge involved with this number four also? Cut to the basket, went baseline. Horn has a three and hits it. DJ Horn. And Arizona State is all the way back and up by one. Ramey. Lobby. Oh, missed the dunk, and down he goes. He'll get free throws. Gaffney, the foul. It's his fifth. You know, if you look to Rich, the st statistically, it's a good play as he comes to the basket. The fans may be thinking it was a little overly aggressive. It may have been a hit on the head there, but I think that's an inadvertent one. Watch when he comes down. He's going for the basketball, and then just misses the ball and comes down. I'd be shocked if there's anything more than that. Although he does hit the floor pretty well. So when they do get hit in the, above the shoulders, you have to take a look at it. But and I think that... But statistically right there... There's two things here. Yeah. Gaffney has fouled out, so there, he's yeah. on his way out. Paulo is still not moving well. He's not a good free throw shooter. Right, that's the point I was going to make in terms of... He goes for the dunk. They stop the dunk and they put about a 52% free throw shooter, 58, excuse me, to the line. He went down pretty hard, though. If yeah. he can't shoot the free throws. Yeah. Yeah. Arizona could end up with a better free throw shooter on the line, Gene Steratore. That's a yeah, that's a choice by the, yeah, the opponent, opposing coach. Opposing, yeah, opposing coach, coach right? selects selects from the guys, the four guys on the floor. And Henderson is the guy they selected. Gene. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say to it, Rich, and I agree with Jimmy. Nothing flagrant on the play, just an attempted block, and then the arm does hit the head. But I'm glad they didn't go and, and try to rise that to a flagrant either. Yeah, and Gene, you know what's interesting, too, with Al Fowler shooting the ball at 58%, it's hard to pick an Arizona player who is on the floor because they all shoot the ball relatively well from the free throw line. Exactly, Jimmy. The, the percentages went up quickly on that. Yeah. I mean, you look at Ramey's on the floor. All right, thank you, Gene. The free throws go down. Arizona goes up. Washington spinning. Washington scoring. Arizona State by a point. And Tubelis could have got called for one for the, the reach just then. Tubelis has three fouls. Only one Wildcat has four, and that's Ballo. Ramey probing Whoa. and throwing it away. Turnover, Arizona. As the, we've talked about drop steps all afternoon, and two or three of these players are very, very good at it. Wow, look at that number, 32-1, and one, last two seasons at home. And they decide to extend just a little bit. Follows back in. Arizona State with a one-point lead in the ball. We're under a minute left. Watch out. Whoa. Desmond Cambridge Jr. No! That was a two-for-one opportunity. I'm not so sure you take the two-for-one there, but it's on the clock. It's a two-for-one. And Tommy Lloyd calls a timeout. It's his last one. Down a point. 38 seconds left. When you stay at a Verbo, you always get the whole home. Not part of it. But the whole upstairs. The whole downstairs. The whole fridge. And the whole secret nap room.
Because is it really a vacation home if you have to share the house with the host? <laughs> Only with Verbo. Six eighty-five Arizona State. Those expecting to see Auburn, Kentucky, now available on CBSSports.com and the CBS Sports app. Get you out to that game as soon as this one is over. Rich Waltz along with Jim Spinarco, Craig Silver, our producer, Corey Fishman, our director, the legendary George Hill, courtside with statistics. This has been a fun, fun game here. Arizona State, the underdog. They rarely win here. A one-point lead, 38 seconds left. Key for Arizona State is not make a mistake defensively. With an unnecessary grab or lean. And they like to play that aggressive. I'm interested to see Bobby Hurley doesn't really come out with many zone switch-ups. And I'm wondering if he's thinking, can I trust my guys to put a zone out there and see how Arizona reacts to it? He told us he, he tried it in practice yeah. this week, <laughs> and it didn't look good, so, so he's reluctant to do yeah, it. But he tried it in practice. Let's see. Yeah, uh, looks like he is uh, staying man. Watch for a backdoor cut, but they should sag off a little bit on their defense on the perimeter. Crease around the screen. Follow Larson. Now Over. down the lane. Got it! Bucket! And what do they go to? They go to a guy to his strong hand in Larson. Arizona State has one timeout, and they use it here. Shot clock off, 24.6. You go to your strengths, and one of your strengths is going to the right side of the floor when you're a right-handed player. No timeouts either side. This place is just jumping. Oh, that's the first part, getting it in bounds sometimes. This is Neil. All right, there's the seven seconds. Now they got to start to go. Horn in trouble. Ten seconds. Washington, kick out. Horn, a three. No. Rebound. Barlow has that's it. A and a foul. Three seconds left. Arizona. By one. You know why, Rich, you could see that that was a very, very good defensive possession? Because didn't it look like a few times there for about three or four or five seconds there was... Arizona State was rattled. I'll point him out to you. Right now, he's rattled a little bit. What do I do? Washington doesn't want to shoot the basketball, so he's rattled a bit. A second time rattled. And then they get a fourth shot from the outside. That's called responsibilities on the defensive end of the floor. But... There's three seconds left, and with two made free throws, you can still get a three and still tie the game. No timeouts, though. You can't set up a play. And here come the free throws. Now Barlow has to shoot free throws. an interesting concept right because it's not the three whether you're foul or not with the up three but now make or miss you have to be ready to slow somebody down you're going to try to get this ball to a guard with his shoulders headed towards half court if you can and it looks like arizona's thinking about leaning up and just watch out for the baseball pass if you're arizona ball makes it two point lead three seconds left no timeouts Neal inbounds, Desmond Cambridge. Oh! He got it! He won it! Arizona State has done it! My goodness! Desmond Cambridge Jr. 